Okay, so this is the second set of examples on lesson five on parametrics. We took it easy on the other couple of examples. Uh, right, let's have a look at this one. So it's a similar idea. I'm going to rearrange. And I'm going to sub in. But because it's got trig and it's got sine and cos, I need to think about an equation that links sine and cos together. And the easiest one is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1. There. So if I rearrange both of these, right, so I've got x minus 3, so take the 3, divide by 2, that's going to be cos theta. So then that tells us if I square it all, be x minus 3 all squared over 4, 2 squared, is cos squared theta. If I do the same with this one, so I'm going to add on the 1, so it's y add 1, dividing by 2, is sine theta, and then square it, so we've got y add 1 squared over 2 squared, which is 4, so that's going to be sine squared theta, and then if I sub in 2, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1, then sine squared is y add 1 squared over 4, cos squared is x minus 3, squared over 4, that's equal to 1. That's quite nice, that. If I times 3 by 4, I've got a circle. So that y add 1 squared, add x minus 3 squared is 4. So if I slightly rewrite it, it's x minus 3 squared, y add 1 squared is 4. And we know that that's a circle with a centre, 3 minus 1, and a radius of 2. So that's quite nice, that. We like that. Right, let's have a look at the next one. So this one's a little bit trickier. I can sub into sine squared plus cos squared is 1. I can cheat a little bit as well. So I'm going to do it both ways, just in case. So the pack does an easy way. It rearranges for cos theta and it subs into there. So if I'm rearranging for cos theta, so I've got cos theta is x minus 1. I need the cos 2 theta to be in terms of just cos. And I know from my double angle formulas that cos 2 theta can also be written as... 2 cos squared, uh, yeah, 2 cos squared theta minus 1. So 2 cos squared theta minus 1. So essentially I'm changing the cos theta into an x minus 1. So I've got y is 2 lots of x minus 1 all squared minus 1. If I expand the brackets, it's 2 lots of. Now to be fair, I mean, do you need to sketch? Do you need to expand that to sketch it? Because I know it's got a vertex at one comma minus one. So I could quite merrily sketch that. I know it crosses. If I expand the brackets, that's going to be a plus one times two is plus two. Take one is one. So I know it's going to cross there. So I know roughly it's going to have a vertex of one comma minus one, and it's going to cross there at one doesn't ask me for the roots, but I could just set that equal to zero and rearrange it. Now, I've done that. That's cool. Some of them, though, are a little bit trickier, and that was a bit of a, a spot, really, to see to notice that you could just rearrange it for cos theta and sub in. Now, you can rearrange for, or rearrange in the form for sine squared plus cos squared is 1. So if I rearrange that, it's x minus 1 is cos theta. So x minus 1 all squared is cos squared. Theta. So you can see the x minus 1 all squared is there on the left, so I've got that. Right, now then for this one, because I'm going to put into sine squared plus cos squared is 1, I need that cos 2 theta to be in terms of just sine squared, which is 1 minus 2 sine squared x. If I, re oh, sorry, theta. If I rearrange for sine squared, so I'm going to take the 2 sine squared over, take the 1 over, 
So it's 1 minus y over 2. There. Now then, if I sub into sine squared plus cos squared is 1, now this is actually a little bit more long-winded than the one on the left there, the one that's in the pack. But that's very much a special case of spotting that it'll pop into the, the cos 2 theta. So you might not be that lucky to do that. Because if it's a sine 2 theta, you end up doing a lot of rearranging. So the sine squared is 1 minus y all over 2. Your cos squared is x minus 1 squared is 1. If I times through by 2, I've got 1 minus y plus 2 lots of x minus 1 squared is equal to 2. People forget that 2. Now then, if I take the y over and take the 2 over, I've got 2 lots of x minus 1 squared. I've got a plus 1, take 2, so I've got minus 1 is y. So I'm getting to the same answer, but the right-hand side way is a little bit trickier. However, it's spotting that you could just rearrange the x equals cos theta plus 1 into the cos 2 theta to get the easy answer on the left. The chances are you'll have to try to rearrange and sub into cos squared. Right, sine squared plus cos squared is 1. Right, that's it for those examples.